Hey, welcome to the Retirement Adventures. Today I'm out at South Point, crabbing. And this is South Point, right out there is the ocean. And over there is Fernandina Beach and Amelia Island. Way out yonder is Cumberland Island. There's Cumberland Harbor, our neighborhood. And this is Point Peter Creek. It goes into our neighborhood. And this is me. And this is what I've got so far in the crabbage. Hey guys, they're kind of docilent because I put them on ice. They were, uh, I mean, they were fighting in there like crazy. They're all males, so I had to, I had to slow them down a little bit because they're crazy. I just caught a shark on this pole, put a dead blue crab on it. And uh, I thought I had a redfish, but it's a shark. I didn't put it on, uh, I didn't catch it on the GoPro though. And those two poles are what I got using for uh, crabbing in my net. Laying there in the dirt. Low tide, as you can see. Usually the best time to go crabbing is at low tide. And I'll put my uh, chicken skins on there. And when I see my line moving back and forth somewhere, I, it tells me I got a, got a crabby on there. The water's kind of clear. It's incoming tide, so that's a good thing. Okay, well, more to come. Hopefully I have one to show you how to pick them up. I think I've done that before. I'm getting ready to, I'm gonna cook these tonight and then make some uh, crab cakes as well. So I will probably, matter of fact, I am. I'm gonna cook them and show you guys how I cook them and clean them and all that other stuff. All right. Hey, just got a bite on this. I don't know what it is. I got my 30 pound test on here, so I'm hoping I can bring it in. Let's see if I can get you guys closer. Sorry about the Rocky filming. There we go. All right, see what I got. Staying down. Staying in drag. It's nice to wear me out. Whew. I'm already tired. That last, I hope it's not a shark. Man, I hope it's a big bull red. Okay. I'm gonna go down there and uh, see if I can bring him in. Are you still on? Yeah, hi. Okay, I'm going downstairs. It's a lot of work for an old man. It's not acting like a stingray, to tell you the truth. I hope it's not. on the water with it. Cross your fingers is not a stingray or a shark. I'm hoping for a bull red or a oh. it's about a five foot shark. Come here, I'll help you. Help you 
yourself. Alright, don't splash me, you get me all filthy. Hold on, hold on. line all tangled up all right as promised i want to cook these little crabs for dinner some of them are, i mean they're not little that one there's probably the smallest one that one in the corner there the rest are good seven inch maybe even eight inch crabs so they're not happy but that's you know i don't know what to tell you but that's what they're gonna do i'm gonna cook those i'm putting them in this pot i'm heating it up right now i got some old bay in there Slide those babies in there. I'm going to cook them for 20 minutes. Then I'll show you what they look like after they're cooked. And then I'm going to clean them. And I might show you how to clean a crab. I think I've already done that a couple times. I'm going to clean all six of these crabs. And then I'm going to make some crab cakes out of them for dinner tonight. Can't get any better than that. Cost me uh, some chicken skin. That's about it. And some time. Chicken skin and time. And that's all. All right. Pull out. All right, I'm done. Got them cooked. These are my big ones. I've already started a process on here, but then I uh, I realized I didn't have anything to put the, the shells in. So I'm gonna start the process all over again. Blue crab, which turned red, which is cooked to perfection. It smells great. First thing I always do is take off the, the front claws. Not that they're gonna pinch you, but it's easy to get them off. Take off these little bitty ones. Now there's some meat in these too, because my brother Jack can suck the meat right out of these babies. I've seen him do it. And then take these off. I want to take the meat out of these later. And then these are male. This is the uh, monument. That's how you can tell. The female, I don't have any. They would be a horseshoe kind of thing here, like that. And that would indicate the female. So you start by taking this off like that. And then you take off the back. Top shell, like this. And uh, luckily, a lot of stuff went off there with it. And I removed the lungs, like that. You can't eat that. And then you just go in, out, and break it in half. What I do is see all this green stuff, I take it over to the sink and I wash all that off. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, I'm back. I've washed these out real quickly. I'm doing it in the house because it's hot outside and my wife is up in Indiana. So uh, by the time she gets home, the smell of crab will be gone. <laughs> all right, so I got that. I'm gonna squish this just like that. Got me a bowl to put my fresh meat in. There, that's what I'm done. Just kidding. Okay, here's the face. Then you just start, I just start peeling it. And getting the chunk of meat. I mean, that's right out of the legs. So this, believe it or not, I mean, everybody likes the claws. Especially like on on the uh, the bigger crab, but this here the meat is in the knuckles, in the uh, body, the, the precious white meat. Okay, look at that. Mmm. And then just continue peeling. Very meticulous because. Uh, that meat's pretty expensive. Okay. I like it every bit I can get. Cause this is gonna go with my Krabby Patties. There's a good piece right in there somewhere. There it is. I'm tempted just to bite at this and uh, eat it, but I'm not going to. I like saving the last part, the, the, the swimmer fin, because it's always the most impressive 
Peace. I saw all your muscles were out in the swimmer fin. And look at this. Hmm. Look at that meat. That's all meat. That's all from, from the back fin. Which is also called the swimmer fin. And I'll get that the rest of that out there. Okay, I don't need to show you everything, but that's how I clean them, dissect them. I'll show you how much I have after I get done with these six. And uh, I think you'll be impressed. <coughs> okay, look at this. Look at the crab meat I got out of those six crabs. That's uh, about two pounds of crab meat right there. <coughs> so when you go to the store and you, uh, you buy this for $25 a pound, I want to tell you the reason why. It took me an hour to get all that crab meat. Okay, I'm going to make crabby patties. And uh, I'm pretty sure I remember the recipe. A couple eggs. Oops, not egg shells. <coughs> Excuse me. A couple eggs. There we go. Some, uh, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, some of this Worcestershire sauce, put some of that in there. I just put a couple squirts in there just to give it some flavor. I stir that up. And the same stuff I cooked them with is I'm going to put in here. Obey. Put some of that in there for some flavoring as well. Can't write this down because I'm just winging it. Stir this stuff up. I add a little bit of milk. Not a lot, just a smidge. Put in my crab meat, clump meat. That'll give you a good sense of how much scrap crab I got out of there, how much meat I got out of there. Look at that. Now there's no way that I'm gonna be able to make two crab cakes out of this. I'm gonna have to make about five, six of them because that's just too much. And there's no way, I mean, there is a way I can eat them. Look at me. There's a way I can eat all that stuff, but I probably should not. I'm mixing it all up like this. I got my oil already heated up. I'm gonna add a little more oil to it. I used canola oil. Add a smidge more. I get it at Walmart. Walmart doesn't sponsor me for anything, but that's okay. That's where I get it still. And then uh, I'm gonna use some uh, Italian style breadcrumbs first, and then I got some other uh, non-Italian, just regular plain. Okay, so the recipe calls for one cup, <clears throat> but I'm gonna probably use a little more than one cup because uh, I got so much stuff in there. Yeah, it's too much. I could probably take this to a restaurant and make about 20 crab cakes out of this. Because there's no way you get this kind of crab meat in your uh, crab cakes at a restaurant. I'm telling you, no way. It ain't going to happen. Okay, parsley. My wife's got these things alphabetically ordered. So it should be pretty easy to find my spice. You would think that would be... Easy for me to find parsley. Where's the basil I put in there? Oh, that ain't rosemary. Terrican. Maybe we're out. Maybe it is basil leaves. You know what? I'm gonna have to leave it out because I can't find the parsley. I'm gonna have to put that in there. <sighs> but you know what I'm gonna put in there? My buddy Joe from. Uh, California gave me this. Garlic, salt, and pepper. 
and it's his, uh, his own uh, his own cans of stuff that he makes out in California. So I'm gonna put some of that in there. Some garlic. Oh, I'll tell you what, you can smell that garlic sauce. So I'm gonna put that in there. I think that makes it taste really, really good. I'm gonna have to add some more stuff. I mean, look at this. I can't cook that. It's all crabby with a piece, a couple pieces of crumbs in there. So I'm gonna add another, another bit of uh, crumbs. Okay. Stir it all up. And we'll start making my patties. Oh, that was a, uh, an angel was just born. That was a message from my wifey. All right, I'm gonna shut this off, make these patties, and I'll show you how much I cook them for, or how long I cook them for. Pull out. All right, I'm gonna flip them. I flipped one already. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. And I'm gonna try to flip this one without tearing it apart. I just cleaned this stove yesterday for my last mess I made. There we go. Look at that. Listen to them. Mm. That's pretty good stuff. Well, that's what I'm gonna have for dinner. I'm gonna have those crab cakes, and uh, I'm gonna get a vegetable and have, uh, have a vegetable with that. I think maybe a salad. I got a cucumber in the fridge, so I might uh, make a little cucumber salad. I cook them till they're brown like this and crispy and tasty and good all over because these babies are gonna be good all over. Now I probably got enough to make another four. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might just uh, have crab cakes for dinner tomorrow night. Thanks for watching Horses Retirement Adventures. It's been an adventure today. It's a lot of work to make these things. You gotta get up in the morning. You gotta get some chicken skin. You gotta catch the crab, cook the crab, clean the crab, whew, and then mix this up and, and cook it again. Cook it again. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do, give me a thumbs up, like or dislike. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'm being close to 500,000 subscriptions already. I'm about uh, 4,800 away, something like that. No, 400,800 away. So, I mean, but it's kind of close. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Paul out.